Coach, how's your first day? Uh, it was good. I mean, I, I think it was, uh, um, you know, we talked about it being kind of an introduction. Uh, it was it was great getting to get out there and see the guys fly around. Uh, obviously, there's some new, you know, some new terminology, some new things that we're introducing to them, but uh, I thought they did a great job in, in kind of their, their, their attitude towards practice. Uh, we have some things like you would expect, some things to, uh, to, to build off of and some things to correct. Uh, uh, I was really pleased with the defense. I mean, they were able to create some takeaways. That's something that we really stress, uh, kind of being the, uh, um, the identity of who we are is we want to be a defense that creates, uh, creates takeaways and gets the ball back for our offense. And you know, offensively, we got to, we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. I think we threw, you know, we threw a couple too many interceptions. And uh, um, but uh, but it was a good first day. What are your expectations, especially these first few days for this team? Uh, expectations are just to, uh, for us to try to start to, to develop our identity of what we're going to be all about. I know there's going to be mistakes made when it comes to the to some of the concepts and and the the, um, the schemes that we're introducing. That's not my that's not my concern. I want to see how guys are running on and off the field. I want to see how the defense is, is tracking the ball uh, when we have opportunities to uh, to make plays. I mean, I want to see guys you know focus on fundamentals. Again, fundamentals help them make the play. Um, you know, there was a couple runs that we had today. I, you know. We're we're stressing a lot of our with our track with our backs and there were a lot of runs that might have been a, you know two three yard runs but our backs were right in the, in the position where they need to be uh, and and that was a, that was a major positive for me is guys that are taking coaching and applying it here to the field and so uh, um, you know we, we just want to really try to establish that identity um, you know you know have fun we're out here playing but uh, um, you know really uh, you know, get there get out there and, and fly around kids get the jitters it's you know, a small sample size for a while here. When do you feel like you can kind of start really learning about these kids? How long does that take? Uh, yeah, I think it's going to get, you know, we're going to have the, the introduction at practice. Um, you know, these probably these first five five or so practices, uh, you know, that is, uh, we're just trying to get a, a mentality of, of, of what we're going to do and who we are. Uh, I think that the, the sixth practice will be our first our first scrimmage, and uh, uh, that'll be something that we'll kind of get a chance to see when the lights come on and, uh, you know, how they respond in those situations. But, you know, this spring, you know, it, you know, we're not looking to see who's going to win spring ball. Uh, we're trying to get better. Every every player fundamentally, you know, you're trying to to build build and develop uh, what their skill set is. And then, you know, you know, a lot of things that we're going to run here in the spring, we might not run in the fall because we need to get to know what what we're best at. And so, uh, uh, like I said, I thought today was a, a really good first day. I think that it's, it gives a lot of film to watch, a lot of corrections to make, and be able to build for uh, for Thursday. How important is pace? It seemed like you're getting the guys in and out, especially early in the practice. Well, I mean, we, when you talk about identity, that's who we are. And it's offense, defense, special teams. Um, you know, I, I was I was really pleased. You know, we we were able to introduce a couple things, uh, uh, you know, special teams wise today. But just trying to have that that mentality and that identity is that you know we don't want to just go fast. We want to be able to execute fast uh, because that's the whole key. Anybody can get out there and snap the ball quickly, but if you're not if you're not doing it the right way or you're not executing the, the play that's called, it doesn't really matter. Defensively, we know we're going to see a lot of uh, uh, no huddle kind of up tempo teams. Well, if we practice at that at that speed every day. You know that that's gonna that should be a second nature to us, and so uh, that was big. That's a big part of uh, of, of our, identi our identity, and so I thought the guys did a good job embracing that today. What kind of coach are you? Are you a screamer? Or are you a, a, a <laughs> what kind? I mean, are you? Well, it depends what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that something that you have to find out for yourself, or do you kind of have? No, an idea? I mean, I, I'm you know I I've been coaching for a little while, and uh, you know it's uh, uh, I, I'm going to have a lot of excitement, and uh, when our guys when our guys are are out there, uh, you know, doing well. I mean, I, I want to be twice as excited when they're out there making plays. Uh, and then when, when it's time to correct things, and it's an it's an important uh, an important uh, uh, point of emphasis. You know, I'm going to make sure they understand uh, where we're coming from and uh, and to be able to get those points across. But uh, I thought the guys did a good job. I thought uh, um, you know every everybody you know gets gets worked up for the first day and you know probably some some jitters. I know that uh, the three quarterbacks uh, we put a good I mean we put a good amount on them for the first day and uh, you know, it was kind of interesting to see how they responded. I, what I look for is what, you know how do they respond to a negative play because you know, that's what establishes a great quarterback because you know anybody can go out there and. And, and start off a game 10 for 10, but when if, if play 11 is an interception, the, 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 the keys the keys the next one because the, the great ones can respond and uh, and, and obviously uh, lead their team to to, to to victory after adverse things happen. So uh, I thought it was a, a really good day. Any butterflies for you coming out here? Uh, you know, it was excitement. I mean, I guess you know butterfly. I was just excited all day. I was sitting there 
uh, been used to practicing in the mornings, and uh, so you know, practicing 3:45. Well, that was a that was a long wait for the day, but uh, but you know, it was, it was great. It was uh, it was great to see our team and and taking the first step today with the with our first first opportunity to be on the practice field together. Uh, it was it was, a, it was a special day. Obviously, you're still getting to know all the quarterbacks. One of the guys was already here, Brady Davis. What stood out about him, I guess, when, when you first got to got to meet him and got to kind of watch him on tape? You know, I've liked, you know, uh, the thing that I've been impressed with, y'all you know, watched Brady during the bowl practice and kind of getting a sense of, of him and, and what his skill set was. Uh, he's, you know, he definitely is a talented young man. Uh, the thing I've been most impressed with is just uh, you know, the way he's retained the information. Um, you know, we went in today, and like I said, we put a good amount of, of, uh, of you know, uh, plenty of concepts and schemes in for day one and just the way that he retained it, uh, him, Riley, Stu, those guys were, were, were impressive in that. Now it's just a repetition. And, uh, you know, I, I did not go over one thing they would see defensively today. Because, you know, first day, I just want to make sure their eyes are right. I don't want them guessing because I told them, oh, oh, hey, we could be seeing this coverage, we could see that coverage. It was blind to them. And that's how it's going to be on Saturdays. We're going to have a, we're going to have a clue of what somebody might do. But we got to be able to react to whatever we see, and so uh, yeah, I tried to put them in a little bit of an uncomfortable situation by just going into it blind. And uh, you know, it, there's a lot of teaching that will be done from today, just making sure we get our eyes right. But you know, Brady was, has been very impressed. All of them have about uh, picking up that information. You also obviously don't know what elements you'll have in a game. Today you had a lot of wind. How did those quarterbacks handle the, the windy conditions throwing the ball? Uh, yeah, I thought there's some good and bad. I mean, I don't. Once again, we're not going to talk much about elements around here because it doesn't matter. Uh, if it's if it's a downpour, if it's if it's freezing, if it's uh, you know snow, it it you know it could be 115 degrees. I've, I've, I've experienced that before, so it doesn't really matter. We just need to go out there and, and make sure we block all those things out and, and and focus on doing our job. Obviously, there was a little bit of wind today, and that did affect things. But uh, but you know we, can, we we have to control what we can control and uh, and make the most of when when a when a bad when a bad thing happens within a play, not make it a terrible play by forcing some something. And so uh, those are things we're going to continue to learn from. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks.